Let's go find Rachel and tell her we're gonna vlog our day. Good morning! Oh my gosh, what is wrong with you? <laughs> we have uh, a busy day today. Okay, first I have to cry, and then I have to clean. Well, let's vlog the day to top it off. <sighs> okay, let's get started right after this. Refrigerator. We need a new refrigerator. Has to have the last word. Every time you think it's done, it's not done. It's not done. Oh my gosh! Dump the ice already. I don't need ice cubes this minute. It's is it dumping them like one at a time? I no, that's like, not even. It's too many clicks. It's not even dumping it. It's just complaining about it. it sounds like me getting out of bed in the morning. Oh. I, oh. Our refrigerator is popping popcorn in there. It's got a couple more kernels to go. Pop, 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 grind. It oh! finished! Okay, you ready? Go ahead. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Kitas. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Kitas, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is 2crazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah, so we have a super busy day. I have to go cut grass. By the way, it's Friday. This is last night's coffee. Is it? It's starting to be a thing with me where I don't want to waste any coffee. So I'm just making an iced coffee the next morning. But the but the coffee last night was so strong, I had to add water to this. I made it weak. That's the funny part. So weird. It's strong. What now, kind of we coffee actually, did you use? We, listen, we have the Breville, what is it? The grind control, which we love it. Um, we actually have a review of that when we got it. It's I'll really put a good. link over here. But I love it because it fresh grinds the beans like right when you make the pot of coffee. You feel very fancy and yeah. Starbucks-y. But, so we don't usually use ground coffee, but I was at Sam's Club and they were having clearance on a Fancy Pants Folgers coffee. I don't remember what the brand was, but it was a fancier Folgers. Is it like... Target instead of Target. It's like Folgers. No, it was Folgers, but it was in a fancy package. It wasn't their normal coffee. But it was like on mega clearance where it was down to like $3 a pound for ground coffee. So now so we're drinking I don't even think coffee. it was that much. I think it was like two pound, two dollars a pound. So I bought two big packages of it. So we're using that right now. But it's kind of weird because, it's yeah. strong. You got to do the scoop. You're supposed to put two tablespoons per cup. And I'm only putting one tablespoon, and you're telling me it's strong. I had to add, like, a fourth of this is just water. And that is not me. I am starting my day off with the best flavor Zip Fizz ever. Fruit Punch. Grape. Ew. You ever, what? You ever, that cannot be the best to you. It is. I mean, you're just provoking me, but, no, like, that it, can't it be the really best. Is. It you really think is. it's the best? Yes. I the love best, that. Jerry, the best. Do you guys ever make your zip fizz and then when you put the top on, I guess it doesn't happen so much with these tops as it does with the screw on top like this, oh. but where you get the little like granular, can you see that? The little pieces of granular zip fizz and then when you like use your tongue, you kind of get that like crystal. Say, it's like eating, what were they? Pixie sticks. Those are the, gra those are the bag limbs for a drink. Mm. Right? Where you're like, oh, there's little bonus crumbs. I still love these. We still have a few of these. If you guys are interested, there's a link for our website down below for these. But yeah, I love this, especially with the summer coming. So we have a busy, busy day and uh, I have to go cut grass. I have to go wake the boys up in a minute. Um, but They love that, by the way. Yeah, they really do. I, we got to cut. We have some grass cutting. You're cleaning. Sadly, yes. You said you want to go up to tractor supply. I'd like to. Which is 45 minutes north of us, but we do have to, to get, get chicken stuff. We don't need a lot of stuff. We already have the brooder warmer thing. But and we have the brooder and, itself. Well, that's what I'm talking about, the warmer thing. And but then you need, have the bin. But they need food. So we have to get some food. They we need have grit. to get the the so we need the starter feed. 
We need the chicken, like the feeder itself. They need... And then the watering thing. The pine shavings. And then the pine shavings. We can get that even at Walmart, but I don't think you can get Walmart, like the chicken feeder and stuff. So no. we're going to try to go do that. And then we have to come home and I still have to edit all of the videos for church for tomorrow to have it up by 9 a.m. and have the whole website with this week's lessons done. And, and you want to vlog today? And we're going to vlog today. And we're going to vlog a full day of eating. And some lofty goals, sir. We do have some lofty goals. And it was, Oh, and I have to edit the video still for this week's um, Keto and Friends. So we have a lot to do today. So why not throw some vlogging in the middle? We're also going to talk about today's title for the video. So you may be trying to figure out... What are they talking about? It's like, a little click why are they changing the diet? Well, we are absolutely changing our diet, and we'll start talking about it throughout the day. Anthony. I probably hate that voice more than any voice. What did he say? Hey, love. I just finished doing the floors, and whenever I do the floors, Tabitha likes to kind of put herself in a timeout. She is completely afraid of the vacuum cleaner and the mop. So let me see if I can coax her out because the floor is dry. Would you like to come out now? The coast is clear. All of the cleaning supplies are out of sight. Let us celebrate. Okay, so I look craptastic, but I don't wanna get into the shower yet until I am done with the last bit of laundry for the moment. How is it that we are in quarantine, we go nowhere, and yet we still generate 50,000 loads of laundry? I don't know, but it's a thing. Anyway, I have been super frustrated lately. I have one day I'm doing great, the next day I'm doing terrible when it comes to eating, and I'm really tired of it. So I sort of brought this to Joe, and I'm like, we gotta do something. I don't wanna do something, but we've gotta do something because I don't like having one day I'm doing great and one day I'm doing stinky. So we are changing things up. I think it's gonna be for the better, but I'm not really super excited about it. We are celebrating with a bone on the couch, which we're not supposed to be on, but we sort of just live on. So it's 12.20, we're just finishing up our last property. I had to fix some sprinkler heads and stuff and I'm enjoying a Zevia blood orange iced tea. Gonna head home, take a shower, and then Rachel and I are going to go to Tractor Supply to get some chicken stuff. I'm so excited. I just got home and there's a package. I don't even know what this is because I didn't order anything. Oh, why did we change the way we're eating? Does that say Chalk Zero? It is Chalk Zero, but why did we change the way we're eating right now? Peanut butter cups. White peanut butter cups. Milk, Milk chocolate, chocolate peanut butter cups. Dark chocolate peanut butter. Why did we change now? We couldn't change tomorrow? How about let's do the tomorrow? Next day? Too late. We're already a day into this. Dang it. Okay, so a serving says there's six cups in here. A serving size is one peanut butter cup. Okay. 70 calories, You're six not grams half of a fat. Peanut butter cup. Two grams of protein. Ooh, they're higher in fat. We might be able to fit one of these in. Just one. Five total carbohydrates, four grams of dietary fiber. So it's only five total carbs, and we're doing 20 total carbs. So we still have to talk about what we're doing, but... I feel like we can work this in. We might be able to work this but in. But first, oh, we wait. Have to shower. Milk chocolate is four total carbs, and white chocolate is five total carbs. I'm trying to see which one's got the highest fat. Milk chocolate is six fat, two protein. This is six six fat, three, three protein. protein. Six fat, two protein. I don't know. I want to eat one. We can't eat one. I got to go take a shower. We got to go get chicken stuff. So my office is clean, or at least the cleanest that you will probably ever see it. Joe clean. The, well, this is, I'm charging all of our microphones because we need the microphones to, like, go to the chicken supply store got my computers going but look at this my wall of zevia it's low, dude. it's dwindling like it's really dwindling 
We've got this. Now we're down to pretty much just the Aldi's ones. Got a couple of Zevias there. And this is our new thing. Ahas. Aha. Did you see, you didn't see the flavor that I found, did you? What flavor did or you Or actually, it's the flavor the girls substituted and I had to pay full price for. Black cherry plus coffee. I'm actually kind of excited about that. So we have over here, this is our plotter, which allows us to, it's like a vinyl cutter so that we can cut t-shirts. And then this is our new sublimation printer, which is going to allow us to do like 13 inch wide pieces. What are you doing? I am taking my blood. We're still in the five day ketosis challenge. Are you testing yourself? I'm going to test myself. I've been mighty low lately. Well, things are about to change because we're changing the way we eat. Let's see. What is it? Four, three, two, one, disco. Point seven. I'll take it. That's not bad. We're in there. We're in the running. Okay, it's one o'clock. I'm not ready to eat yet for a full meal, but I am gonna have my first set of calories, two tablespoons of butter, and coffee. Oh, look at that deliciousness. Okay, for Rachel, one tablespoon of butter. I'm special. I get two. <laughs> You're a guy. The only thing about making it in the blender is it gets a little frothy. <laughs> then you can't fit it all. Oh, I'll fit it all. Oh, don't worry. Here's what we do. We just put it in mine. <gasps> Here you go. I get the first sip of yours because you stole mine. No, it doesn't work that way. That's definitely Rachel's cup. Are you ready to go look for chicken stuff? Yes, please. We're not getting chickens if they have some. No, it's gonna be a straight run and you know it. Maybe goats. There's a helicopter over us, so hopefully you guys are gonna be able to hear me and it doesn't come through too much in the microphone. Uh, but I wanted to talk real quick about why I'm changing the way I'm eating, uh, at least for a few weeks. And I know Rachel has her reasons and I have my reasons and some of them are the same and some of them are a little different. So I just kind of wanted to explain myself a little bit. So I've been keto for over three years now and I've really enjoyed being keto. I've lost over a hundred pounds and uh, I've got incredible mobility in my ankle. I don't have the pain from the arthritis I used to have. I've got good blood pressure. I've got good cholesterol. I mean, I don't snore anymore. So Rachel's happy with that. And I felt great over the last three years. And the only time I've had a cheat meal in those three years is that Christmas when I first got started about seven months in and I had planned it and it wasn't even much of a cheat meal. I had a little bit of macaroni and cheese, a few French fries and a small piece of pie. So when you consider that compared to what the average person has on the standard American diet at Christmas, I didn't have much. It was maybe a hundred carbs, but I felt like garbage for days. And so that's what made me decide to stay keto forever. But it's been an interesting ride. So over the last two and a half years or so, I maintained that weight loss. I got as low as 180 pounds. I think one time I actually saw 179, but I, and I know that was some water. But pretty much have maintained between 182 and 185. That's been my, like, my good weight. I felt really comfortable. But over the last few months, I've gotten out of control with my eating. I'm finding when I wake up in the morning, I want to eat. And it's not even a lot. I just want to eat. And then I get in the car and I want to eat. I've kind of fallen into those habits of snacking all day long. Some of it's been the pandemic, but some of this kind of started before the pandemic. So I can't blame it all on that. And so because of that, I put on some weight. I got up to 200 pounds. Now, over the last few days, I've gotten back down a little bit, but I'm not where I want. So I decided that I need to do something to uh, change up what I'm doing and get myself back into control a little bit. On the road again. <laughs> Just can't wait to get on the road again. Are you gonna start your singing again? Maybe. No radio. No promises. I don't mind the radio, so long as we don't flip stations. We're not flipping stations Gotta today. Gotta flip. No flipping. Don't make me flip out. Okay, let's talk about our eating because I'm sure everybody's going like, are they quitting keto? We are not quitting We're keto. We're doing an entirely donut diet. <laughs> like, do not touch that. I donut. I get 
really sick eating an all donut diet. I don't think it would have very good results. I had a friend once that did an all McDonald's diet. They only ate McDonald's breakfast, lunch, and dinner for six months. How sick were they? You know, they did lose weight, but yeah, not how like skin got all like a pimply green. and yeah. So. So here's the deal. I talked a little bit about in my little part about what's going on with me. Here's the thing. I've maintained weight loss almost 100 pounds or 100 pounds for over two years. And that's why I really do believe what Dr. Barry is talking about. When Dr. Barry says counting calories is stupid to maintain your weight. Yeah. You know, now, and if you're eating one to two meals per day without snacking and you're eating like that until you're full you will not gain fat he does not say you won't gain weight he said you won't gain fat but you could gain muscle bone density things like that and i do believe that because for two and a half years or two years i haven't tracked any of my food i was eating until i was full i was only eating one or two meals a day and i maintained my weight between 182 and 185. But you were only eating one to two meals a day. I was only eating one, and I was still eating some keto treats. I was still having some bars. I wasn't off the rails with them, but I would have a bar every couple days. We would make a mug cake every once in a while. But they were in that window where they were still part of your meal. Right. I figure without counting calories, I was well over 3,000 calories, probably 3,500 calories a day. And my exercise, because I'm not running for games and stuff like that, and it's the middle of the winter time where we're not even busy cutting grass, is way down. So I know I'm consuming probably twice as much as I'm burning. Yeah. When you consider that over 3,000 calories, that's more than I was ever, I know, maintaining. Even though I wasn't tracking, I know about what I was, you always know about what you're eating. What the ballpark is. For me... It's been really frustrating because I will have one day where I'm eating on plan, just one to two meals, exactly, you know, what I'm supposed to eat. Then the next day I have eight meals. (laughs) Then the next day I'm back on eating only two meals. The next day, 10 meals. Right. And it's really bad for me mentally to be like, today you're a winner, but tomorrow you're a loser. And today I'm a winner. The guy's driving crazy. I see him. But, um, and I think that it is very important that we're not just taking care of hand sanitizing and social distancing and all of that. We've got to take care of our mental health as well. Right. And I will get into a total funk if I feel like one day I'm great and one day I'm terrible. Right. I get really, really hard on myself and it just really catapults me into the blues. And if I get into the blues... Life stinks around Rachel when she's in the blues. It's not good. So here's what we're doing. So for the next few weeks, there is no end date on this. We are going to follow a variation of Keto Savage's Deeper State Keto. It it basically is a tapering of calories down and also starting you off at really high fat like 80% fat intake, and then finding your threshold of where do you feel best? Like, is it 80% fat? Is it 78% fat? Is it 75% fat? Is it 70% fat? But you're doing everything very slow, only adjusting one variable at a time, so you can know what is it that's making you feel bad? What is it that's making you feel good? It also is a slow reduction in calories, with the exception of the initial jump. We're going to base it off of not what we've been eating because we haven't been tracking our food. So we're basing it off of what we should be eating according to his calculator at 1.5 times um, our BMR. Right. Now the reason we're not doing this like with a set time period because the DSK program really is a 90 day protocol. Right. However, again, I'm anticipating a rapid weight drop. You think so? That's what I personally think because again, 
we're taking 30% off of the calories that we're supposed to be consuming, not what we've been consuming for the last six weeks. Which has been a lot more than that. I have a feeling like I'm probably dropping like 40% off. And I don't know, probably for you, it's close to the same. Yeah. So we're going to base it off of how we, how quickly do we lose weight, but still following the protocol of you know, slowly tapering things down. And then when we get to where we're going to be maintaining there for a few weeks and then slowly tapering back on. Cause it's kind of interesting. All right. So we are addicts Uh huh. and you have to deal with life in different scenarios. Right. So I know what it's like to be an addict and get a handle on my eating plan when things are going pre-quarantine. But this is a totally new situation that we've never been before. So when that happens, we've got to adjust. It's not like it's just over. I kind of liken it to, I lost my father when I was a certain age and I know how it's, what it's like to handle my dad being gone and missing my dad during Thanksgiving time. Right. But when Christmas came around, It was a totally different thing. I had to acclimate to not having my dad for Christmas. Then you're like, okay, I'm good. I'm doing all right. I've stopped crying. Like, I'm okay. Then Father's Day rolls around. Right. And it's like you have to relive it and adjust accordingly. Right. So it's the same thing. There is a new stressor in our life, Mm -hmm. and we've got to adjust accordingly. And the things that helped us to cope with life pre-quarantine is not what we're doing right now. Right. So the same tactics that we're using don't work. Right. And we've got to adjust. So the purpose of what we're doing right now is to really just refocus us, to take us back to where did we start, remind us of this is how much food you're supposed to be eating. You know, when you get back in this habit of eating three, four, five times a day, it becomes a habit and I don't like that habit. I liked the habit of only eating a couple of meals a day and eating when my body says, hey, it's time to eat, where sometimes I may eat at five o'clock and sometimes I may may be eating at one o'clock, but lately we've been getting into, it's two o'clock, it's time to eat. Yeah. You know, and that's not the proper thing. So the whole thing is to refocus us. And then once we get back down to the focus that we wanna have and where food is not controlling us, and we get back down to the weight that we want to be at, then I'm going to go back to Dr. Barry's whole thing of, I'm not going to track. I'm going to get back into that eating one or two meals a day and eating until I'm full. But again, we're trying to lose weight. You cannot lose weight unless you are consuming less than you're putting out. Right. I don't believe in the whole, like a calorie is a calorie is a calorie. There's a huge difference between a calorie from sugar and a calorie from eating a piece of beef. Right. You know, so we're not talking about the calorie counting. This is more of a macro counting, making sure that we're at a higher fat percentage so we have better cognitive function, making sure we're keeping our carbs super, super low. Now, the variation that we're doing between this and the induction phase of deeper state keto is the induction phase of deeper state keto would actually put you at 10 total carbs per day, and then you slowly work up. We're all, we're just staying at 20, but for the most part- We don't eat We're not eating that, unless we're having like some kind of a treat, like a piece of chocolate, like we may have, that may be part of it. We really don't eat that much. I mean, yesterday was the first day that we started in the carbs. The, the essay was the first day that we started this, and I think my total carbs were at 11. And of the 11, two of them were for MCT powder, and two of them were from a zip fizz. Right. Okay, so now for the brutal honesty part. Okay. So like I said, since I lost all my weight, I've pretty much maintained my weight between 182 and 185, and I have been very happy at that weight. I did see 179 once, but I know it was just kind of like, uh, hey, you exercised a bunch, you got rid of a bunch of water. Right. But for, for the most part, I've been between 182 to 185. I got myself all the way back up to 200 pounds. Really? Yeah, so it has not been good. 
Uh, I've been fluctuating and it's again, like, you know, like you're talking about like one day, yay, one day not. Right. I'd get myself back down to 194 pounds and feel like, hey, I lost six or seven pounds. I deserve an ice cream today. Yeah. That's the addiction part of me. So my goal is I I don't want to get down into the 160s or anything like that. I, I want to just get into where my clothes are comfortable again and get back down to the 182. That's what 182. I'm... 182. 182. You know, target. in that, in back into my range. For me, it's more about clothes and fitting well on my clothes and stuff like that. So much as, you know, not so much of the scale, but when we talk about the scale being the devil, when I see the scale up and my clothes are tight, then the scale's not so lying to me right now. Right. It's not, it's, it's kind of telling the truth. <laughs> I'm kind of lying to myself when I be like, the scale is the devil, but your clothes, you know, they're, they're, they're showing me that the scale's being truthful right now. I was going to say, the scale is the devil, but he's not lying. Right. Not right now. What about you? For me, right now, I'm 152. I am tight in my clothes, and I don't like it. Right. So I, again, I'm like you. I don't really want to have a number because I feel it's like... It's clothes-fitting. That's It's more like clothes-fitting. And measurements on your arms and your waist. And but I feel like... Before all of this started, I was 140, 141, somewhere around there. So let's just get back to where we were at. (laughs) Now, here's what we are going to do to make us stay accountable. We're going to check in in a vlog or in Keto on the Couch or something every single week. Okay. That will keep us accountable so that we don't do this for two weeks and be like, yeah, I had enough of this. Yeah. Because we do want to do it right and we want to, again, we're not doing it for the full 90 days, but we are going to taper down and then taper back up instead of get to the weight that we want and then say, okay, now we can double our calories and go back to the way Dr. Barry's talking about eating. That that will put fat back on. If you go with, all of a sudden from eating 1,600 calories to eating 3,000 calories, you are going to put weight on doing that. So we're going to taper our back up because the bottom line is here. We screwed up our metabolism. We did. And you and have to remember that. I think that this is very vulnerable for us. Like this is a very vulnerable place, but just like we've talked about how there's really no maintenance. Like, I don't think we'll ever be in a maintenance mode and we, we kind of have to get that out of our minds. Right. I think we also have to get out of our minds that there's going to be some magic day when we get a handle on ourselves, and that we've, we've, we're adulting perfectly. I'm always going to be jacked up. We're, we're always going to make mistakes if we think that there's going to be some time where we've been doing this long enough to not have any struggle with it. Like, I think we're fooling ourselves, right. honestly. So we struggle just like everybody else. And I never want my struggle to be an obstacle for anybody else. Sometimes I'm afraid to struggle because I'm afraid that it's going to give somebody else an excuse to, to stop right. in their keto journey. And that is like a nightmare for me thinking that somebody that needs to have better health might not continue on their keto journey if they think well if Rachel can't do it I can't do it either like I I never want to be an obstacle to anybody but I also think it's important that people see we all struggle and there's never going to be a time when a blend of new stressors don't cause us to have to check ourselves before we wreck ourselves. Starting route to Tractor right. Supply Co. Uh-oh. Does that sign say chicks are here? It says chicks are here. We're a tractor supply. Unfortunately, I think the chicks they're selling are both male and female, and we just want females. I see new mowers. I want a new mower. Can I buy a new mower? Absolutely. That's a good impulse purchase. Look at all these cool mowers. These are actually like, I like the new suspension system. I think I should get a new mower. I think we should buy the stuff for the chicks. Okay, so we need one of these. And we need one of the, oh, only one waterer left. So we need one of those. Oh, here's the watering nipples. You said nipples. Nipples. What do you got over there? I've got some non-medicated chick starter and I'm looking for the grit. Okay, we're getting this one instead because we do want to do non-GMO. We want to try to not have like GMO stuff for the chicks, even from when they're a baby. 
We absolutely need this. <gasps> no, we don't. Absolutely. No, we don't. It's a chicken plucker. Uh-uh. It's so that we can, like, actually butcher our chickens. No, not for my chickens. I'm getting the dog a new toy. That dog needs a new toy like I need a new pair of shoes. <gasps> I don't want to get her thinking about, like, chewing on chickens. Well, she's getting a new toy. Not a chicken. Okay. How about a cow? Okay, a cow's good. I am definitely getting her a new pull rope because her rope is disgusting. It is so gross, but she's gonna like totally gross this up in like no time flat. That though. color or red? This color. We're in the car, I think you can take that thing off now. You look yeah. like a bank robber. Mm. The smell of these things, even after washing them, they like, after a while, it's like, yeah, yuck. You're trapped with your own keto breath. I know. It's not, that's the one side effect of keto, right? It's like, you can brush your teeth a million times, you still sort of get keto breath. Acetone, so that's a good thing now. Keto breath means you're creating ketones and burning ketones. But I wasn't anticipating to be trapped with my own breath. No, so, so they had everything except for the grit. They and they sort grit. of need that to eat. Okay, so there's another place around the corner called Red Barn, so we're gonna go over there and see if they have it. I know there's a place by our house that has it, but we're already up here anyway. I'm glad that we decided to do this not on day of getting right. chickens, but be prepared ahead of time. Right. No. These are what no. we are not getting no. because they no. are meat birds. We need to get those. No, we're not getting meat we birds. We definitely need to get Those are meat birds. <laughs> I definitely want ones that I can butcher. Leghorn. Oh, I could just see Rachel getting these. I can just see you getting this. What are they? Oh. You write their name on them. So sadly, they do not have chick grit, but we have to have it. So we're gonna have to order it. We'll find it. So we are driving by... The house that's inspired us to get chickens. The chicken rabbit lady house. So let's see if they're out. Usually they are along the hedgerow. Here we go. Now we gotta be careful because this lady's gonna yell at us if she sees us. Yeah, because she has There's a... all the rabbits. Oh, there's a bunch of rabbits. There's a bunch of rabbits up there. I don't see the chickens though. Yeah. Oh, look at all the bunny bunnies. They're oh, little bitty bunnies. Oh, they're little tiny ones. Oh, there's a chicken up in the top. See him? Oh. Her? Top of the heap. Top of the heap, there's a chicken. That's a big chicken. That but is there's a... another rabbit. Oh. There's one there. So there's the chickens over there. Oh, there's some chickens right in the driveway. <laughs> All I know is you're concerned that we've got seven chickens coming and she's got 16 on less than a quarter of an acre of land. I want to see her backyard. That's what I want to see. Because all these things are coming out from the backyard. That's what I want to know. There's so much poop back there. <laughs> they have to go to the driveway. Okay, we're home. I'm ready to eat. I'm definitely ready to eat. So it's four o'clock, five o'clock, five minutes to five. Not just five o'clock somewhere, five o'clock right here. It's five o'clock right here. And what are we eating? I don't know yet. I haven't figured it out, but I'm really proud of us because it's five o'clock and the only thing that I've eaten today is the 200 calories in butter that was in my coffee. What about me? And you had 100 calories because you had one tablespoon. So you had one. And then we had those pickles that we split. They were very tasty. Which was seven and a half calories a piece, basically. But other than that, but I mean. not enough. I had my Zevia tea today. I had my Zip Fizz. What else did you have today? Just coffee. Black coffee. So I'm really Water. proud of us. I'm really proud of us. We've done really good, but I'm definitely going to go eat. The problem is I haven't figured out what we're going to eat yet. I haven't figured out the macros. And when you're trying to hit your macros. That's a terrible plan. I need to go do that. I know it's going to include burgers. It's going to include eggs, possibly some bacon. But this is honestly a recipe for disaster ordinarily. Yeah. Now we're going to fix this. You want to have your meal plan. Yes. And then I want whatever I do, I'm going to go sit. I'm going to turn on the Blackstone because of course we're cooking outside. Yes. But I'm gonna turn on the Blackstone and then I'm gonna sit down and figure it out. But somehow, like I am going to figure out the entire meal has to be based around including one of those Chalk Zero peanut butter cups. Yes, let's like, make that's it happen. Most important. Like if we have to not eat an egg, 
I am eating that chocolate. That sounds really bad, but I have got to try one of those things. Budget for that. But they are high in fat, so that's a good thing. And we got to keep our fat up. We're trying to hit, again, 78% fat. So I'm going to go do that. You get everything out of the car. I do want one of the dog's toys, though, because I want to give her her toy. Tabitha, we got a present for you. Tabitha, look what we got. Sit, 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 nope, sit. You want it? Nope, sit. There you go. She doesn't know what to do with that. Let me have it. Oh, nope, she knows what to do with it. Sit, sit. Don't touch this. Go get it. Go get it. Good girl. Time to eat. I have changed into my comfy clothes. Five eggs, cowboy burger from Whole Foods, double serving of the cauliflower rice from Aldi's with a tablespoon of butter cooked inside of it and then another tablespoon on top. I had a little bit of room left over for uh, the carbs to have the Alterna Sweets spicy ketchup, which I love that. If you miss ketchup, try the Alterna Sweets. There's a link down below. I have three ounces of brisket inside of my eggs. Same thing, but you have four eggs, two ounces of brisket. Then we've got, I got 50 grams of peanut butter keto brick. You've got 25 grams. It's a mayo. Tablespoon of mayonnaise a piece. Didn't feel like making any. I happen to have some of the chosen food stuff. It was on sale at Costco for cheaper than I could make it. And of course, a Chalk Zero peanut butter cup, which we have to try that first, right? Or no we way. Like, we're gonna have it later? Okay, we're gonna have to check in. Here, let's do our macros real quick. Then we're gonna eat. Oh, and I'm having a grape Zevia. And I'm having apple Bubbly. Okay, so we said earlier, my total calorie goal for the day is 2,000 calories. Um, I got 2,005. 95 grams of protein, I'm at 93.4. 20 total carbs, I'm at 15.8 total carbs. A lot. Most of that is coming from the keto brick. I'm going in. 174 grams of fat, I've got 172. Your stuff's on the side. I see. Do you need me to do it? Yes, please. You do it so you can eat. Okay, Rachel's total calorie goal for the day is 1,650. She's got 1,661. That's also, by the way, including our butter from earlier in the day. Mm -hmm. 70, her protein goal is 72 grams a day, or 71 grams a day. We're slightly over, but if you go within five or six grams, we're pretty good. She's at 78 grams of protein. Um, 20 total carbs, she's at 14.8. Mm. 143 total grams of fat is her goal. She's at 141.7. The cauliflower rice, though. On the Blackstone. Yum. Makes it great. We're going to eat. We'll finish this up a little later. I'm glad I didn't eat that on camera. I horked it. That was not pretty. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. Okay, I still have 50 grams of Keto Brook, but I'm going to save this for a little while because I want to enjoy it. Happy Thanksgiving, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna try the Chug Zero. So this is the dark chocolate peanut butter cup. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna leave a link down below. We also have a coupon code for these. It's two crazy ketos. I think it gets you 10% off. Okay, so how cute. There's the impression of a wrapper, but there's not a there's wrapper. There's no wrapper. I like the fact that they're individually wrapped. But, That's like something I love about Chug Zero. But I also like that there's a wrapper, but I'm not losing anything. Chuck Zero. Chuck Zero. So that's what they look like. Helicopters. Wow. Okay, so that was worth the wave. That is a lot of peanut butter in the middle. Wow. Look at that. I mean, it's not like the Lilies. The Lilies ones is just like a little bit of peanut butter. That is like mostly peanut butter. No wonder it's so high in fat. Wow, that's delicious. Wow. Absolutely worth the wait. That is... Crazy good. Really, 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 really good. And you said it's dark chocolate, but it's this very the, nice and sweet. This is a dark chocolate. There's a dark chocolate, a milk chocolate, and a white chocolate. 
this is pretty stinking sweet, like in a good way. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna savor this. That is like really, really good. So it's what, five total carbs, if I remember right? The package is in the other room. Five total carbs. Worth it. Worth it. I think it was nine grams of fat, two grams of protein. So we were able to fit it in our macros. We finished off the day pretty good. You know what it reminds me of? The top of the Girl Scout cookie. That's like the pe is it Tagalongs? The, I the think peanut so. butter one. Yes, yes, it is. It's it's very, very, very peanut buttery. Mm -hmm. But I, I I enjoyed that. That was really good. It's a nice little treat. I still have my peanut butter keto brick left, so I get more peanut butter still. Never upset about that. No, but that I like that. So. How do you guys eat peanut butter cups? Do you... Gotta take it apart. Do you take it apart and eat around the peanut butter? I actually like them cold. I like to usually stick them in the fridge, which is where we put them all now. <clears throat> right. And then you can really eat around and get to the peanut butter, or do you take it bite by bite? Everybody eats them differently. Like, you like tear it apart. Beat it. You have to bite it around, and then you have to eat the middle. Okay. Everybody's different. So that's going to be today's video. And again, we're doing this little mini cut slash deeper state keto thing just to refocus us. That's the whole goal. Refocus us, take us back to where we started. And also, uh, Jonathan Shane has a whole program within deeper state keto on how to use the resistance bands. And he, all of his muscle is built with resistance bands. And he won his bodybuilding competition doing it. So I'm in interested in like trying some of those because it's all part of the Deeper State Keto program. Like different exercises that he's showing you how to build muscle, how to tone up using the bands. Are you going to use those? Yeah. So Are we going to get a video of you using those? Well, I'm thinking a video of you doing it. That's going to be really fun. <laughs> we're both gonna use them how's that okay so, that sounds better that's gonna be our video for today please do us a favor hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon in that way every single time we have a new video you'll be alerted to it until next time bye, bye.